Hello folks and friends, today is another bonus video. I wanted to do a fun colorful face up with you all because I wanted to see if I could get some things a bit differently on a doll face today. If you have watched one of my recent painting videos or if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love watercolors. Actually, I got my hands on some tubes of paint and I've been using them on my face ups and putting my azure acrylics to the side. And again, if you follow me a bit more closely, there are great chances you also know that I've been contacted by a company named Magicfly who sent me some products. And I got, yes, watercolor paints, but also a box set of mica powders. One thing that I love in doll faces that I think is not used enough is micro glitter. You've probably heard of parallax powders who are extremely expensive, but did you know you could also use mica powders? These shiny powdery pigments are usually used in resin or soap or even candles if I'm not mistaken. It's also considered environmentally friendly compared to plastic glitter, even if you get man-made mica powder, so that's definitely a plus for me. So I decided to give them a fair try. I'll try making a face up using only watercolor paints and mica powders from Magic Fly. Okay, so yeah, not exactly entirely, because I still need a bit more for than that, I will still sketch the face with a pencil and map some basic contouring with pastels like I usually do, but you get my drift. They sent me this amazing set of 28 colors, and this is going to be really fun. And before we start, I just want to put this out there. Yes, I was sent those for free. And yes, I am affiliated with Magicfly, and yes, there will be a discount code in the description box below. But no, I was not paid to give a positive review, so these are my unfiltered, genuine thoughts. Also, my uncensored clumsiness. So the first thing I did was swatches, because of course. So these were made in my watercolor sketchbook, and to swatch the powders and make sure they stay put, I've mixed them a little bit with Mod Podge that was first diluted with water. If you have acrylic medium at home, which I am out of sadly, you can mix the mica powders in it and create some great metallic paints. I think I still went there even if I used a different thing though. And I mean, those pigments are bomb. They are so bright and shiny. Everyone I showed them to, even online, was impressed. Of course, my camera's focused as a mind's of it own. But you can still see how pigmented things are, and I'm not sure in picking those two whites properly, but damn. Let me even show you the piece of cardboard I used to mix the pigment on, because I mean, this is gorgeous. I'm really getting pumped. I'm really excited about seeing how these will layer and react to the sealant I use on dolls. Okay, so I've had this Laguna head since a little while now. For some unknown reason, I've rooted her with lavender yarn like in last February something, and I forgot she even existed afterwards. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going to use her to do something colorful. So like usual, the clean doll face was primed with a couple layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and I used a watercolor pencil to sketch the eye shape and creases. Then I am using makeup brushes and some soft pastels to give her a first layer of dimension by mapping some contouring and placing some colors around her eyes and such. Since the doll's original skin tone is blue, so a cool color, 
I want to use similar pigment to shade her, but I am purposely mixing a bit of brown in there to add some warmth, as I feel it makes everything feel a bit more vibrant and alive. As for blush, I am going for a light coral, which is a more warm and cool shade of pink. To make her really vibrant and cute, I am going to use some on her cheeks, all the way to her eyes, on her nose, and on the chin. I'm also gonna do the forehead. Maybe your lips too, we'll see. I like using the cheek blushing to hug the eyes. I feel like it's cute and dollish, so it kind of became part of my style, I guess. After mapping out what I wanted around the eyes, which included some eyeshadow, I jumped straight in with the paints. If you wonder, I am on layer 3 right now. The pastels were repeated on another layer, and then I put them away. The rest is all going to be magic fly. To be honest, I started at Endeavor, not too sure how I would do things, and I mean order of operation. When I use pencils, I go from light to dark, so I guess I'll be doing that a bit here. The main reason I use pencils usually though is because I feel like it gives a lot more control than a paintbrush does, even if you have a steady hands. The pencil also don't need to dry because most won't use them wet. They can also build up in density and still blend into each other and produce really sharp lines. Though you have to layer them still a bit more than paint and you need to apply a fresh coat of MSC in between so you can both save your progress and give yourself a perfect texture to draw on. Of course, I use MSC even with the paint there, but overall I think I made progress a little faster. Though you have to remember that a vinyl doll head does not drink the pigment like watercolor paper does. So even dry uh, water and overall wetness can disturb what you just made, unless of course you use sealant between steps. Don't worry though, MSC has never disturbed watercolors for me. Also, it's meant to be sprayed as a thin coat, so it's not runny. And honestly, I think the only way you would mess it up is if you want to, or if you try to spray on wet paint. Just be patient and things will pay off. Doing some gradients in the eyes was not too bad, but the lips would not let me have my way. You want to mix the paint while they are still wet, but you can also remove pigment with water easily. This is a great failsafe if you want to erase a mistake, but yeah, <laughs> ombre lips were hard to achieve. So do I really have to talk about the quality of the pigment in that paint? Magic Fly is really giving me exactly like it looks like it's going to be. I have a great color payoff, nothing to say against that. And I must admit, since I got them, I barely touched my Arteza watercolor paints. 
I think that if I could return them and get refund, I might have, because Magic Fly is really giving me everything that I want and everything that I need, really. Again, I'm not a pro at watercolors, but I sure don't need that to enjoy the products. I'm selling my heart and it's giving me absolutely everything that I need. It's as simple as that. It's good, it's affordable, I mean. Take my comment as you want, of course, folks, but I'm standing with my point. The more Magic Fly stuff I use, the more I love the brand. Okay, so with micro glitter, usually you want to layer it a bit. Mr. Super Clear is a matte sealant and it's really a thing good at that job. Meaning that once you spray, you might all use most of the shine from the glitter that you've just applied. So here I'm thinking in advance. I'm on a fresh layer of MSC and it fully dried for about 20 to 30 minutes. I still want to work a bit more on the paint job, but I'm also starting the mica powders now to give them time to build. It looks very promising already. In the end, I decided to cover the lips entirely with a mix of watered-down mud podge and mica powders to turn them metallic. I figured it might be a bit overkill with all the shine I dusted on the face, but I simply could not resist. I mean, even if you have a cold black soul like myself and hate glitter with a passion, you're still lying to yourself and you love glitter. Well, at least a little. I know I personally hate rainbows and sparkles and pastels, and that's why I love them so much. What? What? M makes no sense. I, I made sense to me, okay? Uh, okay, I, I made sense to me. I I'm not a sparkly tsundere. Bottom lashes on our right are gorgeous, but then the ones on our left are in a completely different angle, and of course, I didn't notice that until the face up was done. What can I do now? I mean, <laughs> I guess I'm going to love them, even though they're not related to each other, so I guess it's fine. One of them was adopted. Here. And that's the finished face. In the end, I layered the mica powders on two more layers. The temples and the bridge of the nose are so gold that my crappy camera is not picking it up as it is in real life like at all. And yes, no eyebrows. I was not feeling them so I decided to do without them. My verdict? Well, I'm not going to buy pearlix powders or any type of other micro glitter now, unless it's a color I really don't have. But I still own 28 amazing shades of shiny goodness, and they are giving me all that I need. And again, if you want to buy a set for yourself, there's a limited time discount code in the description box below to order from Amazon. So, do you like her? 
I need to finish her, but I have no idea what I will do. Fairy, nymph, mermaid, what do you think? Comment below, I wanna know what you think. So yeah, I'm still taking my time to recover, but I've also started new things, so expect the new stuff in a week or two. In the meantime though, stay safe.